Hey everyone, I'm Brian. I'm Tyler. And we're Gardener in Love. Hello and welcome to today's video. This morning we are over here in the Union Garden, which is our purple blooming space, if you will. Um, we're gonna be adding some more perennials to our garden. That seems to be uh, our favorite thing to do lately. We've yeah. got a ton of stuff that we need to get into the ground uh, before they pass out from a heat stroke in their can. <laughs> so we have three different varieties that go we're going to be adding today. Um, we also are going to be digging out some uh, Powys Castle Artemisia. We have tried this in this garden over here uh, twice now, and it just does not fit the space. It gets too overgrown. It does not like our humidity. It drops all of its leaves at the bottom. So we're going to be digging it up, um, and it is no longer welcome in this part of our garden. <laughs> so we've got some stuff to replace it, um, and we're going to tell you about those. Yeah, let's get started. So the first one here is Spring Bling Rose Quartz Creeping Flux. That is a mouthful, <laughs> but hopefully it's gonna be beautiful next spring. Right now we just have foliage because this is one of our very early spring bloomers. Um, but this one is a hybrid creeping flux. Um, and for the first two years that it's in the ground, it's gonna have more of a mounded habit than you may be used to with creeping flux. Mm -hmm. uh, but as it gets more established and as the years go on, it will spread throughout your garden but just know for the first couple of years it's going to be more of a ball mounded habit and that's totally normal that's how it was bred by walter's gardens um, this one has a uh, sort of a dark pink color it's got pretty large flowers um, and it is supposed to be fully covered mm -hmm. uh, so we have five of these that we're going to be adding right outside the entrance of the union garden uh, where we have our carding mill rows and we've got some other annuals um, so right now we'll just be foliage but this is faith in planting in that next spring. It will be big and beautiful and covered in flowers for us. The second perennial that we have here is a new one for this year. This is called String Theory Amsonia. Um, and if you've grown Amsonia before, you know that they can get very, very large. Um, this is more of a compact habit growing Amsonia. Uh, you're still going to get those pretty periwinkle blue flowers across the top early spring. And then once the flower is done, you'll have these kind of thin leaves to give you some foliage texture in your garden. But the big show really comes in the fall because with every Amsonia, including this new one, they get really beautiful golden orange color in the fall. The leaves just turn bright gold. Uh, so that will be some really great interest over here in the fall. And that's something that we don't have in this garden really is fall interest. We've got early spring stuff we've got summer stuff but no fall interest so i think this is going to be um, a nice one for us um, now keep in mind this one is going to be more compact so if you've got a smaller space like we do over here this might be a good one to add to your garden um, they kind of grow vase shaped with the flowers across the top and then of course once the flowers are done you'll just have foliage um, so if you like ansonia and you need a compact version this is a great one to add to your garden all right, so the last variety we're gonna be planting today is one I'm super excited about. It is Safari Adventure Pineapple Lily. It is this very large plant right in the front here with beautiful. the large, beautiful bloom stalk. I, I mean, you can see it just gets massive and uh, that's kind of what we want in this garden. It's very, very unique. It blooms uh, purple and then fades to different colors. Uh, so we're super excited about that. And then uh, one exciting thing about this one is that the foliage emerges in the spring, late spring, uh, as a very, very dark sort of sultry purple. Um, and then as it gets larger and comes out of the ground, it sort of fades to a green, which is so gorgeous in this space. We have lots of hostas here. And so I think that this is really gonna contrast with the, the green foliage of those hostas um, as the color emerges and just changes. I think it's gonna be really interesting. Um, so this is, uh, the scientific name for this is Eucomus. Um, and it's zone six to nine. I have never grown a pineapple lily myself, but my mom, who's a gardener, as you know, 
Um, she grows them and loves them, and so uh, we're really going to enjoy this one. This one is a very large variety, so if you guys are interested in something that sort of has that tropical look um, and really likes water, um, this is the perfect one for your garden. I also want to add, so when we introduced you guys to this space, we told you that this side is shade and this side is sun. But what we have discovered now that we've been over here for a couple of seasons is that the strip right along the front is really actually sun. Mm -hmm. um, against the house is still shade, but across the front is sun. So we do have a couple of hostas that we have dug up and kind of transplanted them out. Um, and so we'll be putting the pineapple lilies along the front so they will still be on in full sun. So if you see us putting them on this side, don't worry, it is full sun. Uh, but I just wanted to clarify that because I'm sure you guys are wondering. So with that, I think that we are going to get started planting. So it is a different day. Just as we got our final plants in the ground, we noticed that our camera had overheated because it is so hot in Charlotte. Even the technology can't handle this heat. <laughs> Nothing can handle the heat and neither can us. And so uh, we finished up the project and cleaned up. Um, and now we just figured we'd come back and show you everything that we planted. All right, guys, so I'm just going to show you this full space before we get started. So you can see we've got our walkway here and it is just not very beautiful right now. Um, hopefully in the next few weeks we get to tackle this project, but um, we are going to be putting gravel in this entire space. So um, once you pass the fence, you'll just be walking on gravel and we'll be putting it back all the way to the corner where I'm standing um, and we'll have some potted plants and things like that. But um, first thing we planted here is our Amsonia after we took out that uh, Artemisia and it left tons of space, but you can see the texture of this is just amazing. Uh, especially against this feather grass that we have. The colors are doing beautifully together. Um, and I think that the blooms in the spring are gonna be gorgeous, but in a few weeks, well, hopefully more than a few weeks, but when we approach fall, we'll get that gorgeous gold color from these Am Amsonia. And I think it's just gonna be just amazing. So that's it on this side. And then over on this side, when we have full shade, we have our Safari Adventure uh, Eucomus or pineapple lilies. Uh, and you can see we've got about a two foot long stalk on this and it's not the same color that it will be next year. Next year, I think it'll be a little bit darker purple, um, but it is so pretty. And I can't believe that these were not damaged in shipping. <laughs> so um, you can also see that we've got um, this dark purple foliage that's popping out as the new foliage. Um, and I think that's gonna be really pretty against the hostas and the rest of this, the things in this space. I think the one down here, 
actually has a little bit more color on it. Yeah, so we've got a little bit more foliage here so you can see those colors are just so luscious and so contrasted and I love it. This bloom stock is a little bit lighter color, um, but I think next year they'll be a really, really cool color for us. So that was it inside the Union Garden. Show you guys this space. And then right here outside of the Union Garden, we planted these really beautiful creeping phlox. Um, and I think they've just done a nice job of filling in the space and adding some texture with that foliage. Um, so in the spring, they'll be completely covered in those sparkly blooms. And I think that it's gonna be a really gorgeous show. All right, so that is it for today's project in the Union Garden. We are going to wrap this video up. This is going to be our only video for this week here on YouTube because we are finally going on a much needed vacation. Yeah. This is going to be our first full week long vacation since COVID really. So yeah. we're very excited about it. So stay tuned. We're going to be taking you guys along for the journey. We'll have a full vlog up showing you all the beautiful garden centers I'm sure we're going to find yeah. and visit. <laughs> and maybe we'll even bring back some new stuff. Yeah, but that's going to do it for today. If you guys like this video, please be sure you give it a thumbs up and be sure you're subscribed to our channel so that you get notified every time we post a new video. But uh, we will see you next time, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.